Good morning. It's Emmy's day. Yay! I am so happy. Ugh. We had the best show last night, like the best show of the season by far. We had the greatest wrap party. Oh, I didn't even want to leave, but I had to leave so we could come and check into the Ritz Carlton because um, we got a suite. We got a suite for the weekend. We are living it up. This is where Candace and I are gonna get ready uh, for the, the award ceremony tonight. Um, and it's just great. Like I am just so loving this morning. <laughs> okay, so I booked a junior suite so we'd have enough room for Candace and I to get ready along with our, our glam teams. But for some reason we got upgraded to the executive suite. And so, like, it is fabulous. We have so much room here. Uh, I'm thinking they upgraded us because they kind of, they've kind of screwed up our parking situation. Because when we pulled into the um, Ritz Carlton last night, the guy that was there was just like, oh, no, you're in the wrong spot. You need to go, you know, around the corner and park. So we go around the corner and we, we park our car in valet and then we stand, you know, there was like a line, even though it was midnight, to check in. We wait in line and then we check in and the lady's like, where are you staying? And I'm like, the Ritz Carlton. And she's like, oh no, this is the Marriott, <laughs> the Ritz Carlton is, you know, is in the next building. I was just like, what, what, what just happened? Like, and I told the lady at the check-in, I'm like, we were just here and your guy out there told us to park around the corner. So I don't know how we ended up at the Marriott. <laughs> she was like, oh, I'm so sorry. You know, I will upgrade you to the executive suite. Um, you know, let us know if there's anything we could do to, to enhance your stay. And I was just like, oh, like, but this is a head scratcher. And so Michael and I were talking about it, and Michael was like, you know what probably happened? <laughs> it's probably because I drive an old Honda Pilot. Cars aren't my thing. I just, you know, I love my Honda Pilot. I've had it for 15 years, and it still works great. And the guy was like, oh yeah, there's no way these peasants are staying at the Ritz. <laughs> you go over to the Marriott. <laughs> I have no proof that this is what actually happened, but like, why else? Why else would he tell us to go around the corner when we were in the right spot? Now the peasants are checked in to the executive suite at the Ritz Carlton, baby. I'm trying to fit in here at the, um, the club lounge. They have this the full breakfast spread, which is amazing. Um, so we'll have a little, have a little brekkie, and uh, trying, trying to look like we belong here, even though we didn't know how to get in the door. <laughs> um, and I'm, you know, the, the breakfast spread is awesome. I'm trying to eat very clean this morning. So I got a dress I have to fit into in a few hours. I'm just having a little eggs, fruit, smoked salmon, and a coffee. Meanwhile, Michael's having muffins and oatmeal. He's having like the exact opposite of what I'm having. I'm like, no carbs. He's like, all carbs. <laughs> but he doesn't have to fit in. Michael doesn't have to fit into a into a, a tight dress. So, I don't know. Female problems. Shout out to somebody, John Stamos, for providing the yogurt for breakfast this morning. So there's a tent situation. We're trying to figure out if it's a red carpet or um, I don't know, but I see like co they see cocktail tables and and there's like there's like a grandstand or stands with seating over there and there's fans already lined up. Dang, that's dedication. I'm nervous about the carpet. The carpet is just very stressful. But right now I'm just going to enjoy breakfast and this wonderful view. Um, yeah. This place is fun. Shout out to the Ritz Carlton. And if this is not an ad, <laughs> this is not a calm room. <laughs> This is, you know, we paid for everything, um, so we're just very, very happy. Even though we were sent around the corner to the Marriott last night to check in. <laughs> 
pictures. I guess I'm still wearing basically the same clothes I wore last night. That's how I look. So I'm literally just walking around trying to hydrate with my keg of water and um, trying to stay calm. But I end up just walking from this living room to, oh there's Michael. Say hi Michael. He's editing yesterday's vlog for you all. Um, I'm just trying to stay calm but I can't stop pacing. Um, and I keep looking down at that carpet down there is right down there and I see fans lining up and I'm wondering who am I here to see? Like I know we're cool and all, but like who else is gonna be there? Like I have no idea um, what other categories they're announcing tonight. And um, like, I don't, I don't know who else is gonna be there besides the Fuller House people. And I'm so <sighs> curious. But yeah, I keep watching the setup down here and it's very exciting. But yeah, it's like I got show nerves. I got, that's not good lighting. There, that's better. I got show nerves, but it's like Emmy nerves. Now I've got Emmy nerves. And look at, we brought my beautiful roses to the hotel. Oh, they look so great there. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I'm pacing. I'm just pacing and I'm drinking my jug of water. Um, this, this place is, this suite is huge. Like I am so dang excited about that. Um, what else do you want to see? There's the bed. There's the desk. <laughs> I'm like a little kid. Let me show you around the hotel room. Um, and then, well, the dress is, the dress is, um, the dress is in the closet right now. But, um, so I can't show you the dress yet. You'll see the dress later. And the lighting isn't very good here, but yeah, I've got, the dress is in here, and I've got my shoes down there, and I'm just trying to keep that. Fortunately, I don't have to iron it or keep it steamed, because um, it's not a wrinkly fabric. So, that's one good thing. I don't know what to talk about, I don't know what to do. Like, I've already played like 400 rounds of Disney Emoji Blitz to try to calm my mind, and, um, that's not working and I've been Marco Poloing my friends and I'm still nervous. I'm still nervous. I feel like I'm doing Lamaze breathing. Lamaze breathing. <laughs> to try to settle my stomach. I have I have a little na nauseated stomach. Cause I'm nervous. I don't even know. Like usually I don't get nervous until right before, so why am I nervous? It's like 10.30 and I'm I'm super nervous already. Cause this is a big deal. This is a big deal. I've never been to the Emmys before. The carpet, I'm really nervous about the carpet cause it looks massive. It looks massive and that that's just very overwhelming. I. The carpet is very overwhelming for anyone, I think. But for me in particular, who I'm an introverted person, I get overwhelmed easily, and and uh, I'm an you know I have anxiety, so um, it's it's just very overwhelming with the noise and the amount of noise and the amount of people and the amount of like chaos that's happening around you. It makes my heart beat really fast. Let's go talk to Michael. Maybe he has something to say. Michael's the polar opposite of me, so that's why we're a good match. Um, because he's very calm and he doesn't stress out very easily. So he's the yin to my yang. Let's go see what he's doing. Hi, hey, Michael. Hello. Trying to calm my nerves by vlogging. Very cool. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hi. Are you nervous for tonight? No. Why not? I'm nervous for you. Oh, you are? <laughs> um, well, yeah, all you have to do is hold my purse. 
and wait for me as I... What? That's I'm, all I have to do? Well, yeah, you can hold my lipstick too. <laughs> You're so kind. Mm. You smell like green tea. Mm -hmm. mm. It is green tea. <laughs> if green tea has an odor, I don't know if it does or not. I think it does. There's also like <coughs> lemongrass or something in this. So... Mm. Mm. I don't know what else to talk about, but my arm is getting tired. I got vlog arm. Is that a thing? Probably. Like tennis elbow? I have vlog arm. Well, with all the lifting that you've been doing of your keg of water. This is true. Between lifting my keg of water and holding this camera up for long periods of time. But that's good because I need to do, I need to go do push-ups. That's what I need to do because the dress I'm wearing is um, sleeveless, so I need to, I need to, I need to get my pump on. <laughs> Try to get my, my stick arms to have, I don't know. Farrah will put body makeup on me anyways. Maybe I can have her like sculpt some, a little bicep, <laughs> bicep in there. Maybe. <sighs> Takes a village. <coughs> Takes a village. Let's check in on the, on the carpet again. Can you even see? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know what's happening, but I see large Emmy statues right at the, the doorway there. So that's exciting. It's 11.30 and um, I decided to get back into bed for a little bit because I feel so sick. And I know it's just nerves, um, but my stomach is just really upset <laughs> and if so I thought if I got back into bed um, it might help I don't know before the craziness starts uh, and I knew this was coming and it's happening a little earlier than I thought it would but um, yeah so I, I think I'm just gonna try to breathe and um, I don't know, write it out. That's all I can do, is write it out. But I just, I hate that I feel this way on such a special day. I hate that I, you know, have to try to overcome these emotions um, because I know I can do hard things. I just, I just performed in front of a live audience last night in front of 200 people and um, you know I I dealt with last minute changes to the script and new lines and and chaos and you know I, I dealt with all of that flawlessly but now <laughs> when it comes to walking a red carpet um, and presenting on a stage I uh, I'm rendered incapacitated <laughs> So that's okay. That's just how I'm wired and um, it's just a part of me. So I will just ride it out and it'll get better and it will take a few hours, but it will get better and everything will be okay. But for now, I am just going to go to bed, try to go back to sleep. Even though I won't be able to sleep, I'm just gonna try to relax my stomach. Michael heard me crying, so he came over here <laughs> to give me a hug, even though there's nothing wrong. I don't know why I'm crying. Because it feels good. <laughs> Maybe it's like a stress reliever. I don't know. What is wrong with me? <laughs> why, am I, why am I like this?
So we're here in the green room. The show is about to start, but um, the cast is presenting in the first 30 minutes. We're, we're presenting at 5.29, I think. I don't even know what time it is. Like, this is it's been such a time warp. That carpet was a different universe. So yeah, we're in the green room. Um, Bob's on the phone as usual. Candace well, was calling his daughter. Candace can't sit down because she's in a satin dress. Is this a vlog? This is on the vlog. But I the, love the vlog. He loves the vlog. The vlog loves it. It's beautiful. Um, and there's no, there's either, there's no alcohol in this room. So we're, we're like hydrating with water and just trying to stay calm. I'm trying to dry out. That carpet was so humid. It was like instant sweat. So I'm just trying to like, I wish I had a fan. I need a little fan to cool off all my sweaty bits. The Emmy goes to the Magical Wand Chase, a Sesame Street special. Here we go. Now we're going to the Governor's Ball. We lost, but we're winning because we're going to the Governor's Ball. Oh good, now, now oh, it's recording. Working. She couldn't get it. But I it thought, was doing I that you. weird time lapse thing. But Deej helped me. I helped. Cool. All right, well, it's done. We it's finished done. the Emmys. We did the Emmys. We did the Emmys. We just got back from the governor's ball. We had so much fun. We did. We, we danced. Had a blast. We went up on the stage. Even Someone with... stopped me after we danced and was like, yes. I think you went dancing. Oh. Excellent ladies. I, I was it. like, yes, me too. And then we went up on the rotating stage before security kicked us off. And we tried to steal someone's Emmy. Sesame, Sesame Street, Street, by the way. By the way, who won our category? So I don't. I have thoughts. But I love Sesame Street. But I have children's programming. Like that's okay. And I actually, no? I accidentally threw shade at Sesame Street when they were within earshot, and that was. But they hilarious. Were fans, but they were fans. Hilarious. Here's the thing. We what were, did you say? You got to tell them we, what you said. It was story. so funny. We were being bombarded by fans at our yeah. little table. And so like it was fan after fan and selfie after selfie. And finally I was like, you don't see Sesame Street getting this kind of attention. And the next fan was like, oh, I'm from Sesame Street. I wrote I the wrote episode it. that won. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, I'm so sorry. She's like, that's okay. I'm a big fan. So see, even Sesame was, Street is a fan of Fuller House. It's true. But this is not people's choice. It's no. the Emmys, and the Academy did not agree. That's okay. That's okay. Maybe um, next year. But that was probably one of the funniest moments of the whole entire night, that you great. threw shade on Sesame Street in front of Sesame in Street. In front of the head writer of Sesame Street. <laughs> she was very, she was awesome. very she nice was about great. it. She, yeah. I think she liked We're it, We're going to go have coffee. Oh, yeah, I have a card, and she wants to go have coffee. We so have a business have card. Coffee. We're having coffee with you. Yay. Okay, okay so it was a good night. We, yeah. had, we spent most of the night sweating on the carpet. Uh -huh. And then backstage in the green room. Yep. And then presenting. Yep. And then watch the awards itself was kind of boring. boring. It was pretty boring. I hate to say it. Until but they are. Neil Patrick Harris came out at the end, and then he, he was, was like, funny, and I really wanted him to sing. I know. Why didn't he sing? I don't know. And then he said, "Everybody go to the governor's ball and get lit." We didn't get lit. But we didn't get we lit. We had fun. But we had fun, and we, we danced, and we ate. Yes. I had a the grilled food. cheese. <gasps> And tomato soup. <laughs> that the food was so. It was good. really good. The food was great. And now we're gonna have a little glass of champagne. Yeah, we've and got. And we're gonna um. We've got, got champagne. Michael Ford that the Ritz gave us. Isn't That's that so, so cute. cute? Oh yeah, I didn't get. So we're gonna have that, 
And um, yes, you're fine. I'm gonna have champagne in my sweatpants. Yeah, I'm gonna get changed too, but yeah, the Ritz Carlton was very nice to leave us these strawberries and champagne and a nice note, even though it was addressed to um, Jill Barber. <laughs> So I don't we, we don't know who Jill Barber is, but we appreciate that she has shared her. Jill's not even close to Andrea. No. Or Michael. No. no. Not that you're a barber, Michael, but you know, no. that was just funny. Right. Jill oh, Barber. Look at that. I just look unzip that. my dress. <laughs> <laughs> it's, Michael's already out of his suit. Back. Wait, I did saw you? I suit pants. We didn't get to see you in your cute suit. You looked amazing. Thank you. So, so did so you. The carpet. Stunning. Stunning. Movie star. Stunning. You too. Movie star. We Thank both you. did. Thank you. Thanks for a team. Yes. It takes a village. Peace out.